The new GTA Online update for this week has brought about four insane money bonuses and payout changes for you to enjoy, and two of which are just absolutely amazing. So today on the show, we're going to be breaking down all of the best ways for you to capitalize on these bonuses so that you can make tons of extra money just by playing the game this month. These bonuses are yet again for the second week in a row, some of the best we've seen in a while, especially since the Chop Shop DLC released, and so you can either just relax and play for your own enjoyment and still stack currency, or if you're a hardcore player, you can also take the more grindy approach here but overall just by being smart with running these missions and engaging with these activities and overall selectively picking and choosing where to focus your efforts you can make game-changing amounts of money in RP this week so with that said let's jump into things if you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA online and Rockstar games then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on So just to preface, here are the things we're going to be discussing today. We have double money and RP on all export mixed goods missions, double money and RP on the special cargo sell missions for your special cargo warehouses, double money and RP on the collection time adversary mode, as well as double money and quadruple RP on the Martin Madrazo contact missions. For the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on the special cargo and the export mixed goods. So first, let's check out the export mixed goods. Selling crates that you've been sourcing this week is going to grant you the biggest money bonus, of course, so that's why we're going to be talking about special cargo later. But you have to make sure you stay on top of your export mixed goods deliveries, just to throw in some variety to your gameplay so you don't burn out. These are those CEO office deliveries which pop up every 48 in-game minutes for delivery at your office, and they offer $100,000 per delivery with double money on the sales this week. Usually the payout's only $50,000, but they're the same as the ammunition deliveries at the bunker, they're the same as like the bike delivery at your MC Clubhouse. Similar to the client jobs at your auto shop, of course the payouts and the time that you can do them in is going to be different, but they're those same types of very simple deliveries. Drive here, get paid. So simple, straightforward, you head to your office, you talk to your assistant, at the front desk you select the export mixed goods options from there just exit your office travel to the truck marked on your mini map your truck will be located at a random warehouse location that you own and then you simply need to drive that truck to the docks and drop it off for the payout at most these are going to take you six minutes and it's also an excellent way to make additional revenue while you passively or actively source your crates to fill up your warehouses and also just in case you were wondering no these export mixed goods deliveries do not subtract the stock from your warehouses the stock for these is like totally separate it's actually in the game lore as surplus from your warehouse so you don't even need to worry about you know losing any crates in your warehouse to do these deliveries if you're wondering if that's like actually going to cause an issue or not so those are the export mixed goods double money sales very very good definitely keep up with those basically an extra hundred thousand dollars an hour round numbers now for special cargo let's talk about these cargo warehouses because you're going to need them but they are a top tier money maker this week with the 2022 update by rockstar they have actually supercharged this venture by introducing two fresh profit channels one of which we just talked about but the other comes to deal with when you want to source crates and how you can actually do that so with double money selling a full large crate warehouse is going to be selling for four million four hundred forty thousand dollars and what's unique about the warehouses is you can have up to five of them of course with each having the potential to sell at 4.44 million dollars each so selling all five will grant you 22.2 million dollars in a single week now that's if you only sell in an invite only session if you sell in a public lobby and you get the max high demand bonus you can make 6.66 million dollars from these sales which is going to be an insane amount of money this week but first obviously you're going to need to get a warehouse and it's not so straightforward as just buying one because there's a lot of extra steps instead of using the usual maze bank foreclosures route you'll have to snag a ceo office via the dynasty 8 executive website but once you do that pick any warehouse location that's going to work for you you can choose the size. They come in three sizes here, small, medium, and large, holding 16, 42, and 111 crates respectively. The large warehouse, despite its hefty prize tag, is a gold mine due to its bulk sale capability, and we're gonna be talking about that in this video. For the grinders out there, you'll probably wanna own at least two warehouses. That way you could bypass the cooldown after you source a crate at that one particular warehouse. You can just jump to the second and keep sourcing back and forth, and that way you could fill up two warehouses. But if you are kind of budget-friendly right now, just 
go for one you know you can even go for multiple small warehouses if you want if you don't want to do massive sales but honestly you're more inclined to just do big sales nowadays anyways but basically what you got to do with this business is you invest money to pinpoint crate locations you embark on a mission to fetch them and then you stash them in your warehouse for future sales and when sourcing you always want to shoot for three crates when you buy the crates it might sting your wallet initially but it is a huge time saver in the long run and remember the three crate missions might involve a single vehicle or they could involve individual pickups with a five minute cooldown post mission that's why i was saying multiple warehouses that you can cycle between will be a good way to avoid the cooldown and stay productive and that's a godsend in this game now additionally you don't even need to source crates yourself say you're like wow i don't want to source all these crates myself that's a waste of time well this week it may just be worth it to do it anyway but if you absolutely want to avoid it now with the 2022 criminal enterprises update lupe is a technician in your warehouses where you could pay her seventy five hundred dollars and basically she will go out and source either one two or three crates it's complete rng but she will source that in 48 minutes and you don't even need to be logged into the game for her to do that so this is a great passive income approach that just requires 48 minutes of the npc's time to go ahead and fetch either one two or three crates for you now when it comes to the selling players used to sell either nine or fewer crates to guarantee a single delivery vehicle that way it would be good and solo player friendly if they were in public sessions and they wanted easier deliveries but of course now you can sell an invite only session so you might as well go with the max sale when it comes to selling as well trick out your delivery vehicles like the boats planes and trucks at your cargo warehouse so you can amplify their performance on the road and now that we've kind of got the basics out of the way i know that was kind of quick and fast but a lot of people know kind of what's going on let's just talk about some simple tips and tricks so here's kind of my step-by-step -step guide to sourcing and selling crates this week this is what i think is the best way buy three crates to save time sourcing complete the source mission by stealing and delivering the crates to your warehouse you wait for that five minute cooldown to end or you can use a second crate warehouse to immediately start another mission that's what i do i don't go back to my ceo office to source either i just park my terabyte right outside my delivery location that way i can actually just hop in the terabyte and start another source mission and don't forget every hour you know call it round numbers an hour it's 48 minutes though i will go to all of my warehouses drive each individually to each warehouse and pay lupe 7500 dollars to source more crates for me that way i'm getting additional crates in that same hour you can also use the map master control terminal in your arcade to fast travel to if you say if you want to source crates from there but I find the terabyte is still the most useful in my opinion but that's basically it those are some of the best ways to farm insane amounts of money solo this week in GTA online I know I kind of ran through the business really fast but I don't want this video to drag on too long this isn't supposed to be like an official special cargo guide where I go in depth this is just how you can use the business to make the most amount of money because 4.44 million dollars even if you're just filling up your warehouse by playing passively paying Lupe to source your crates for 7500 bucks 111 total gameplay hours you've probably done that in the past waiting to sell your warehouse now that we have double money now you can reap the reward so like i said those are the best ways to make money this week if you're not going to worry about the crates at all definitely at least keep up with the export mixed goods for 100 dollars every single hour you play gta online also let me know in the comments if you want to see a live gameplay on the madrazo missions i didn't cover that in this video because they're not going to make you game changing amounts of money but they are fun if you have never played them before or of course if you haven't played them in years and overall it's just nice to switch things up for an hour or two for your playtime this week in gta so definitely check those out but with that being said hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with the best gta online and rockstar games content then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel also check me out over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms thank you all so much for watching hopefully you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next gta online video adios amigos Oh, <laughs>